What's up, people? It's Bull Leaf, and today we're gonna be looking at the reloaded roadmap for Warzone. We're gonna be skipping Cold War because I don't like Cold War. Um, it's not my favorite game. If you guys enjoy it, that's cool. But I personally really do not like Cold War, and I don't play much zombies. Zombies is cool, but um, I'd rather be playing Warzone. I don't want to be shooting AIs. You know what I mean? So we're gonna skip all this stuff. Zombies, like this looks really cool, but I just, I'm just not about it. So, new map, Rust returns to black. Okay, that's Cold War still. This is Cold War. And here, so OTS 9 SMG, right? So, we're getting this new submachine gun in the new reloaded match or patch or whatever. And let's see. So, is solid damage, high fire rate, can be compared to the Bullfrog in terms of damage and fire rate, slightly more power, and over 100 rounds per minute more in fire rate but lesser magazine capacity um 20 rounds is the standard and you can unlock to 30 to 40 rounds uh compete with the best M smgs across black ops and warzone either unlock via challenge or blueprint okay so this right here would be a great submachine gun i'm assuming it's well it's saying it's like a bullfrog but better right more damage and higher rpms um so i don't know i think this is gonna be kind of like an mp5 and then the thing too okay so they're they're nerfing the time to kill and all the assault rifle submachine guns and everything inside warzone right now or they're going to by adding it to like 600 milliseconds to 100 milliseconds on top of the time to kill so i don't know why they're coming out with a submachine gun that has faster time to kill than the bullfrog because the bullfrog kills pretty fast already and I just don't get why they're increasing the time to kill, but then adding a gun with a fast time to kill, which doesn't make sense in my head. And I'm assuming this is going to be similar to the submachine gun or similar to the MP5. Not the sub It is a submachine gun. Um, but yeah, so that part doesn't make sense, any sense to me. This is, this is kind of dumb, but I'm telling you this submachine gun might be really good just because you uh, can melt people essentially, right? With 30 to 40 rounds. But it's going to be an issue with reloading. Hopefully the reloading is kind of fast. Maybe maybe you'll run like a hit fire build with the slider, slide of hand like mag. But then that that's the thing too. With these cold wear weapons, the slide of hand mags don't even reload that much faster. So we'll see. I don't know. And then we're getting a mace. So, okay, so out of all this, right, the reload map, we're going to get... A submachine gun that most likely everyone's gonna use and then it's gonna get like people are gonna say it's overpowered whatever all that good stuff and then there's a mace and this mace is ridiculous right because if you think about it this has to be a two hit kill and then because it's a mace you're gonna run a lot slower this is just for like the meme the mace has to be for the memes i'm definitely not gonna get the mace i i wanted the bat but that, i don't even want to grind for it because i don't think it's worth it but just the smg and just the maze boys this is a very very small content you know for for all of us to be entertained i mean let's be real right um because you're gonna run hella slow with this mace there's no reason to run a maze like if you're if you have a knife it makes sense because you have mobility and if you have the the little nunchucks or whatever at least you have mobility but with this maze i'm assuming you're gonna run kind of slow like those samurai swords in modern warfare so we'll see this is It'll be the OTS, like I said, will be fun in the beginning. Everyone's gonna say how overpowered it is and all this other good stuff. But we'll we'll only time can tell actually how good it is. And then new operator, right? Weaver. He's coming in, he has the eye patch. He has a tracer bundle, I believe. Yeah, tracer pack. And he also has a pet finishing move. Which yeah, okay. This will be pretty cool if it was a zombie. If the zombie was his pet finishing move, that would be sick. Uh, where he fools the undead into ripping an enemy limb from limb. Oh, that's pretty sick, dude. That's pretty sick. But, you know what's trash is a tracer for a, uh, a crossbow. Tracer for crossbow? Trash. Trash, boys. And then, let's see. CDL pack. Pro pack. This is... We'll see how good this is. You, I don't know if a lot of people buy that stuff. 
because not a lot of people watch the CDL anyways. And they should have let this out sooner, right? Because isn't the CDL like happening very soon? Um, Special Ops Pro Pack, black, uh, back in black. So this is pretty sick. This is 20 bucks and it gives you 2,400 counter points. Definitely worth it, I say. And then I like how it's glinting. So you can't exactly hide in the darkness, which is pretty cool. I was hoping they did something like this to the rose skin, but instead they just like gave um, gave Rose a little hue around her instead. But they should have definitely did something to her mask. But this is pretty cool and it's definitely worth it for 20 bucks and you get 2400 COD points and you get the FARA all black and the AK-47U all black essentially. And the attachments, that looks like a 60 round with either the Liberator or the last. That looks like a liber Liberator barrel. Um, yeah, this is a 50 round mag, silencer, and maybe the Raider stock, I, th I think. That looks pretty cool to pick up if you want to spend 20 bucks. Like, if you're going to spend 20 bucks, you might as well spend 20 bucks on this and then use the this COD points to buy something else. And then let's see more in the store. Here's the tracer pack for Maximus uh, Mastercraft. This one's kind of trash. I'm not gonna lie, it looks cool, but it's kind of trash, right? Cause it's the QBZ and that's it. And I'm assuming it's gold tracers. Looks like Batman there a little bit. Gold tracers, in incredible weapon inspection animation okay oh gold trace yeah gold tracers and then you get like a blueprint for a pistol and no one uses cold war pistols unless you're using it for movement and i'm assuming this is gonna be what is it what is she holding here the diamatius mm, i don't think that's worth picking up just because the qbz doesn't have a nice time to kill it has great movement speed but it's not worth it and then this one here is pretty sick. The Mothership Mastercraft. I always wanted a tracer pack for a sniper rifle, given it's kind of stupid because if you're shooting a sniper rifle, it's kind of give away your location. But look how sick that looks. That looks pretty sick. That with uh, the LC10 would be a dope, dope combination because the LC10 is already a great supporting sniper rifle, like submachine gun thing. Um, but I don't know. I'm not a big fan of the Cold War sniper rifles. And then this magma, oh shit, magma theory operator knight hitting up. And let's see, so you get this cool ultra rare operator skin. Mm, that's all right, it's kind of cool, but the orange might be showing, it might be better in game. And then it comes with uh, three weapon blueprints, gold tracers, sunburst dismemberment, and this is for zombies, so it doesn't matter. Plus a badass finishing move. This seems okay. If the, the blueprints are cool, it's going to be worth it. If it's for decent guns, like if this is for, let's say, the Krig or the Farah or even the C-58, I feel like this will be C-58, right? Because this guy's like super buff and strong. And the C-58 hits like a freaking truck and it's strong. So I'm assuming it's going to be for the C-58. That would be cool. That might be definitely worth buying. And then like for the submachine gun, I wouldn't be surprised if it's I wouldn't be surprised if it's the new, no, no way it's the new SMG, but I'm assuming it's assault rifle and SMG. If it's, if it's, all the SMGs are good. If it's the three burst SMG, the KSP or whatever, do not buy it. Not worth it. Well, okay. Like I said, if the assault rifle blueprint's nice, it's worth it. I'm assuming, I'm assuming it's going to be assault rifle, the mace, cause he's strong, right? So C58 mace, and then the submachine gun might be, I don't know, something else. And then more free Warzone content. This is the payload mode, which is essentially like, um, dang, what I keep forgetting the name of that game. Okay, that's it. Hanzo Overwatch. That's what I'm talking about. This is going to be kind of like Overwatch, right? Where we are pushing a payload and it's 50 versus 50 rumbling. So this is going to, it's going to be like the Kingslayer thing, right? Like the haunting of our dance to resurgent modes. So it says Haunting of Verdansk. The weird thing, right? Haunting of Verdansk, that was different because it was still a zombie, like a uh, battle royale mode. But this thing here, it's 50 versus 50. And it's not like gas is closing on you. So it'd be interesting if there's actual crates that you pick up and you put on armor and stuff like that. I'm assuming it's not. I'm assuming it's similar to Ground War 50 versus 50 with the stupid payload thing. So 
so i don't know do if you guys like that go ahead i don't think it's gonna be that fun honestly uh or dropping constantly with their own custom yeah so you just kind of like drop down uh, i don't know that doesn't look fun and then there's this blueprint blueprint blitz essentially you end up getting um blueprints that you weren't able to get from like the other patches so i don't know this is kind of stupid too because it makes the blueprints not that valuable i mean i understand they're trying to be inclusive and gives gives everyone the chance to actually get this but it just kind of it doesn't make the blueprints that rare anymore it kind of makes it pointless to even get the blueprints unless you really like how it looks and that's cool but i mean the rarity makes it cool too you know and let's see red doors become more mysterious uh stepping onto parts unknown further intel suggests that red doors will appear redacted and take you redacted as perseus sleeper cells are still at large in Rodons. we caution you to redact it so essentially there i feel like this here they're just gonna switch the locations of all the red doors because there was a whole bunch in factory but i wouldn't be surprised if they rotated them towards um across factory where there's those two uh what are those things called two towers or even to the, to the uh like train station or train station or bone i wouldn't be surprised if they do that just change the doors around and here's a new stupid kill streak right so the sentry gun essentially this is an automated sentry gun and i think this is pretty pointless because if you guys remember there was a manual sentry gun and that you use and you shoot it and the bullets do no damage it's it was pointless to have that thing in there because no one picked it up and if they did pick it up and they tried using it they end up dying before they can even crack someone's armor so it's useless and i don't know the time to kill on this thing can you imagine if this thing has a ridiculous time to kill it'd be hilarious and then everyone some people some people are going to run cold blooded for this but it's going to be pointless to even run cold blood for this because i mean like how let's see find the sentry gun an extremely rare legendary item drop in the red door room supply room okay so if you do get this you have to go through a red door that's the only way to get this and it's extremely rare so i'm hoping the time to kill on this is trash because if it's a re if it's a really good time to kill it might suck to have it i mean it's only what it lasts for a minute and then it just explodes but i don't know man this is like this doesn't seem useful it's kind of ridiculous this is trash this is trash guys this is trash um gifting comes with war zone free black ops cold war trial and then these are the sizes ps5 17 gigabytes ps4 14 xbox x and s series is 21 gigabytes xbox one 11 pc without hd packs 13 21 gigabytes with hd pack but yeah that's about it i don't know man this is useless or this or this okay i wouldn't say useless but this patch is trash okay because if you look at it what we end up getting is one submachine gun a few cool operator skins i, I will say i wouldn't they're they're pretty cool um and then we get a mace that's it and, and a kill streak i don't know and these like new modes do people even really play these new modes i don't play these new modes i'm shooting i'm assuming you guys might have a lot of fun with it like what is that that truck mode that one was trash and I, oh my god okay the new warzone mode has these trucks right and then what are in these trucks turrets and what happens when freaking activision puts turrets onto vehicles like the chopper and into these trucks invisibility glitch it's coming back boys it's coming back i wouldn't be surprised if it's freaking coming back this next patch um but yeah over all in all this this new reloaded patch is kind of it's gonna be trash people are gonna get bored of the new submachine gun they need to add more stuff into this and okay and the biggest reason why i think that this patch doesn't even matter is because I feel like they're gonna try if they don't ban any hackers this season with this patch, I am gonna go crazy. Okay. 
I'm gonna go crazy. I'm gonna be surprised if they do not at least mention that they ban like 10,000 accounts or something because hacking right now in Warzone is ridiculous and there's no anti-cheat. There's literally nothing that Activision is doing because they don't know how to fix it. And even today, literally today, as I'm recording this, Nick Merckx, he wasn't hacking, but he killed a hacker in a hacker lobby or some shit. And he ended up unlocking all the attachments and all the cold, like camos for it. And he got dark matter, which is cool, right? Because I'm not going to lie. I, I hope that happens to me today if I go on and play Warzone and run into a freaking hacker. Because I everyone should be rewarded with when they kill a hacker everyone should be rewarded dark fucking matter that's what should happen that is the truth right there but that's happening and everyone who actually spend the time getting dark matter damn that's sad bro that's sad but yeah they, they're gonna if they don't ban anything any hackers after this patch all this like submachine gun new blueprints is gonna be useless and then if they do I give it a week and a half, maybe two weeks, and then the hacker situation just becomes worse again, and it becomes the same. And um, I'm telling you guys, boys, I cannot wait. What's the next game coming out soon? I think it's Halo that's going to be coming out soon. I hope that is cross-platform, so I can at least play with some of my boys. So I'm on PC, some of my boys on my Xbox. Um, but yeah, that's coming out soon, I think. And then Battlefield's coming out. They need to come faster because. Activision you start sweating their freaking balls off because right now Activision essentially has no competitors and no one is playing any other games besides Warzone or even COD. But oh man, oh man, once Halo or Battlefield comes, wee, they're gonna be freaking sweating. They're gonna be sweating and people are gonna be leaving left and right. I would definitely be leaving. I mean I love Warzone, but the hacker situation is ridiculous. Um, which is why None of this matters. None of this patch matters because all in all, small patch, right? You get a submachine gun and a, a melee or melee weapon, a mace that essentially no one's going to use. And you get a few operator skins and two game modes, right? Blueprint and possible invisibility, invisibility glitch with these stupid trucks and a stupid kill streak that's a sentry gun that's automated. So that is the patch notes and my little rant about stupid hackers because the hacking in warzone is ridiculous right now um i hope you guys enjoy that i hope you guys were entertained and you guys learned about the patch i'll see you guys next time good luck in warzone boys good luck with all those damn hackers um i'll see you in the next video a uh, peace